wash it away if I could see the flowing water night time. Here, that will do nicely. I tucked the help me box into the toilet paper. That should keep anyone from noticing it if they see it lying around. The noisemaker will be disguised by the toilet paper. Good. That will keep the door from locking when he leaves the room. Good old Harv is kind of a slob. Hey, I remember this movie. Pretty good one. Harvey's got taste. He's got a lot of gear. I guess Daddy isn't totally against the film thing after all. Or Harvey has his own bank account. Hey, I remember this movie. Pretty good one. Harvey's got taste. Gee, he's even got pictures of famous directors on his shelf. Guys, they never let go of toys, right? Guys, What's this? Notes for a new film? A mysterious disfigured scientist. A goth girl named Jimmy. Brain-sucking experiments? Is Kinderman pulling these pranks to stage his film? I'm going to find out. And if he is, I'm going to kill that twerp.
Harvey's new screenplay sounds a little too familiar. I'd like to get into Helena's room and poke around, but it's locked. There has to be another way. A key! That would have been helpful five minutes ago. To admit, I didn't even expect to find books in a room. More than meets the eye? I don't have time to search your computer, and I don't think I'd find very interesting stuff anyway. I need a camera for tonight, but I don't want to just take it. Helena would probably let me borrow it if I asked. Totally, Helena. This is definitely Helena's drawer. There's some paperwork about her student enrollment, but nothing about magic or conspiracy that I can see. It's locked. Why would Helena keep a locked box in her own room? I was just... I wanted to talk to you, and the door was open, so I... Oh, fine. I'm really freaked out about these events on campus. Someone is setting up styles, and I think one of the Lambs Club is involved. So, I'm playing detective. What did you see in here? Nothing. Anyway, you're not exactly at the top of my suspect list. I must be doing something wrong then. Hmm, I might let you live if you give me the dish on everyone else. Who else have you been snooping on, Sherlock? Do tell, and make it good, and preferably nasty. Well... Malik is the grad student of Styles' biggest enemy on campus, a man named Linkweller. I have a feeling he'd stop at nothing to ruin Dr. Styles. Is he? Now that is suspicious, not to mention rude. I noticed you have a camera. Would you mind if I borrowed it, just for a day or two? Take it. I never use it. What's the fun of photographs if you're behind the camera and can't be in them? Thanks. Angela knew Dr. Stiles before the experiment. I asked her about it, and she said she saw him walking down the street next to the campus one day, after the accident. But that's got to be a lie. Stiles doesn't come on campus. 
He won't even leave the house. He's so self-conscious about his face. Maybe she forgot when it was. Maybe. Anyway, that's hardly incriminating evidence. She's too much of an odd bird to be involved with a conspiracy, if you ask me. I found notes for a new screenplay in Harvey's room. Ten guesses what it's about. Us? Yeah, and the experiment. Tell me that's not suspicious. Was there a description of me? Did he mention my nose? He said it was big, didn't he? Helena! I have a right to know. No, his notes were free of comments on your proboscis. Good. Am I the pretty one? It wasn't all that fleshed out yet. Darling, don't get all worked up. It's bad for your complexion. I found this in Charles's room. Oh my god, this is priceless. It doesn't look anything like him. And the date on the back is just one year ago. I think Charles is an imposter. Please, I recognize the mole on his neck. Lovely mole. Of course, it was a bit less lovely at the time. No one can change that much in a year. Maybe it's a younger brother. If Charles had a record, he wouldn't want to register under his own name. One word, hormones. This is definitely Charles. And if he looked like this a year ago, then he probably really is a virgin. God, I feel faint. Can I keep this? No, I might need it as evidence. Evidence of what? Ugly duckling syndrome? Hmm, what a twist. I'm going to get evidence with this camera tonight. Maybe even a picture of the perpetrator. I mean, hello? Hello? Who's there, please? Or not? What the? Mrs. Dalton! Uh oh. What the hell is this doing in my desk drawer? That's Houdini. He has a habit of sort of appearing. He? Who told you you could have a pet in this house? He's in my room. I don't see what difference it makes to you. Well, he's not in your room now, is he? This is my home, Miss Everett, and I don't care to have it smelling like a barn. Houdini does not smell. You could have a herd of buffalo in this house for all the use you get out of it. Shh, 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 shh. Hush now. Oh, my goodness. What a to-do about nothing. I'll take him back upstairs and put him in his cage. Put the thing in the garage. No way! He'll freeze out there. Put him in my room, Mrs. Dalton. Sam? Oh, by the way, who's visiting the house today? What do you mean? I saw a woman on the stairs, just now. Blonde, white dress. You saw no such thing. The, the lighting on those stairs is terrible. I keep asking that something be done about it, but no one pays the slightest attention. Bothering poor Dr. Stiles with nonsense like that. Um... As if pet rabbits weren't enough. Wow, is that menopause? Samantha, tell me what you saw, exactly. There was a woman walking up the stairs when I came in. I called out, but she didn't stop. There is someone here today. What's the big secret? Never mind, it's nothing that concerns you. What did you learn at university? 